What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we're going to be talking about Nintendo. Well, we always talk about them, but specifically their subscription box service, which is trying to compete with Loot Crate. Now, I didn't read through the article fully myself, but we're going to be reacting to this on camera. We're going to be, you know, seeing what this is all about, man. Um, apparently, it's trying to be a big competitor in the scene with that whole, you know, subscription service thing. And I'm glad to see that Nintendo's wisened up to it because people are definitely willing to spend for things like that. Let's go into the article on my Nintendo news right now. So, Nintendo will apparently offer a Loot Crate subscription rival. The Nintendo UK store will soon offer a special subscription service. Only to the UK? Come on, man. But I guess they're testing it out in that area, so nothing to be too mad about first off. But, you know, it's, it's good. Anyways, the box will be named Nigger Box and will contain Nintendo themed toys, clothes, and other accessories. You can either purchase the end box separately or subscribe to get a 3, 6, or 12 month plan. The news was reported by MCV who are generally a good source when it comes down to rumors. The Nintendo UK store has con was contacted by the publication, but they wouldn't comment on the rumor. So, I'm loving it. I think this is a great idea. Those Loot Crate things, they, they do really well online. Like, people usually make the unboxing videos, and that's a great place for Nintendo to be able to have a constant stream of income, because people are gonna buy. Like, I would definitely subscribe to that. Um, would you subscribe to it yourself? Let me know in the comments. But this is generally a really good idea, and I'm hoping that it's true. Um, I know I was joking around saying it was the nigga box, but um, yeah, the end box. It, there's, there's something about it that looks funny to me, but I like the idea. Um, now, in terms of purchasing it individually or by 12-month plans, obviously, if the funds aren't there, then individually sounds great. Um, I think Loot Crate's like $12 per month. Um, let, me, let me confirm that, actually, so I don't look stupid on camera. Loot Crate. So, it's an epic monthly, uh, a monthly box of geek and gamer gear, $40 retail value in every crate, um, and you get it for $13 a month plus shipping and handling with $6. So it's $20 a month for Loot Crate. Nintendo's crate, um, the end box per se, I'm hoping that it's around that price range or less because, you know, they have an audience which is mostly made up of uh, kids. So, you know, you gotta make it a little bit easier for these little ones to get their hands on it. Either way, I like the idea. And I do hope it works out. And for the second article that we're covering today, we're going in depth with Amiibo. Now, there's been over 10.5 million Amiibo sold to this very date. I'm not sure if this is worldwide or just in the United States. Most likely worldwide. And it's not a surprise. It would seem as though there are even more Amiibo that have been sold than Kotaku suggests, as Nintendo sold an additional 4.2 million Amiibo between May to June. So in reality, Nintendo has pretty much sold 15 million Amiibo ever since the launch. That is fucking insane, but it makes perfect sense, dude. I mean, there's a lot of people that purchase these things multiple times over. Like myself, I have probably 30 Amiibo in there right now, and a lot of them are just duplicates, but people will purchase these multiple times over and not have a fucking single qualm about it because the Amiibo are a great goddamn, um, they're a great item. Nintendo's revealed in its corporate social responsibility report that they have shifted over, shifted, shifted? Is that the right word? over 10.5 million Amiibo figures worldwide since they were launched back in 2014 November. That's certainly a lot of Amiibo, and they would undoubtedly shifted a few more had certain figures not been so difficult to find. I can make, I can easily tell you that if Nintendo had had their stock in order when these things were really in demand at certain points, then they would have easily sold 20 to 25 million of these things. It's an amazing number to look at. I'm not sure how much Skylanders has sold or other services like that, like Infinity and whatnot, but Nintendo has the edge in certain ways because their Amiibo are all basically one price if you get them from their original retailer, if you're buying them off of, you know, scalpers or whatnot, then you're gonna be paying a lot more off of Amazon and whatnot. But I mean, still, that's a really impressive number considering that the Amiibo haven't even been out in one year. I gotta say, man, Nintendo knew what the hell they were doing with those things. And one thing as well, too, is that the reprint of a lot of the Amiibo that have come out for a second time, um, they look better. Like the Wii Fit Trainer, she looks better. Um, a lot of the human characters, they look a lot better, um, Mario's and whatnot, and I'm, I'm glad to see that Nintendo is doing some kind of quality control while making the amount of defects not as much. It's good to see that Nintendo is really honing in on the amiibo scene, and they're doing their best to make availability way more accessible by a lot of people. I'm happy to see that, man. Nintendo, I hope you continue on that track. 
And considering that they have the Amiibo and now they could potentially be having the N-Box, it seems like even though Nintendo has caught an L with the Wii U for the most part, they're trying to catch some W's by putting in some really awesome things that fans love. Fans love Amiibo. They're a great fan service and people are going to love the N-Box. I'm just hoping that it's true and that if it is, that it comes to other regions of the world in a much more fast um, well, I hope they come to other regions, of the, other regions of the world quickly, because, I mean, if they're testing this thing in Europe soon, then who knows when it's going to make its way to the U.S. and um, to other places. It's Europe that they were testing it in, right? Yeah, the U.K., um, so not necessarily Europe per se, but at least in the United Kingdom. Um, and it's going to be the Nintendo U.K. store, so it's going to be the store itself, not necessarily Nintendo as a corporation. But um, still, we can, we can hope, we can hope. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I'll talk to you dudes in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.